Hey everybody, in this video we are going to look at moving our server class up to our pnet library and setting it up so that it can be inherited from and used like that. So first, inside of our source.cpp, inside of our current server project, we had this leftover process packet function and we're not going to use that anymore. So I'm just going to take that out because we had already moved that into our server class anyways. Next, what we are going to do is inside of pnet, we are going to add a new item. We're going to call it server. And then we are going to add a CPP. We are also going to call that server. Now let's go to our existing server header. And we are going to just cut what we had, go back into the new one we just created and paste this here. And we are going to include our TCP connection header. And I think that's all that we have to include there. Now we can get rid of the server header that we had in our project and delete that. Now let's go to the server CPP that we already have and we are going to cut what we have, go to our new server CPP and paste this here. We'll have to add and include for our network header so that we can initialize it here. Now we can remove the server CPP. We want to set up our server to be kind of reusable. So what we'll do is we're going to set up some virtual functions here. Specifically, we want process packet to be overridable. We'll put this under the protected section and set it as virtual. And then we are also going to add a function for when a new connection occurs and then for when a connection is lost. And actually, instead of having this private, I'm just going to have it all under protected. What this will look like now is we're going to have an onConnect function, which is overridable, of course, an onDisconnect function, and we're going to have the process packet also be overridable. Let's set up our default onConnect and onDisconnect. We're going to generate the definitions for these and go into the onConnect. By default, our onConnect is just going to print out our connection string and say new connection accepted. Our onDisconnect will just print out uh, the reason for the disconnection and say connection lost. Now we need to set up our server class to actually call these functions. So inside of our close connection, what we're going to do is after we determine what the connection is that is being closed, we're going to call on disconnect. We're going to pass in this connection as well as the reason. On top of adding the call to on disconnect here, we are going to remove the line where we were printing out connection lost and close connection. Next, we need to be sure that we are calling on connect. So let's go up to where we accept a new connection. And that is right here. So after we determine what uh, the TCP connection is, we are going to call on connect. We are going to pass in the accepted connection. One more thing is we're going to take out the line where we were printing out the connection string and saying new connection accepted because we are now going to just do this in on connect. This will also give the user the option to just not print this out when they get a new connection. The next thing we're going to do is change our process packet because by default we don't want it working like this. We want the user to set up their own. So what we'll do is instead of any of the logic that we had before, we are just going to print out packet received with size and we'll print out the size and then we will return true. Now inside of our server project, let's set up a example server class that'll inherit from this. We're going to call it my server. Oh, and actually before we do this, we have to go up to the include me and change this to include server.h. Now let's go back to the my server. We're going to include pnet include me header. So you can see here we created a class called my server and we are inheriting from server. Now we need to set up our override functions. So we have our on connect, on disconnect, and process packet. Let's go ahead and generate these. First, let's set up our onConnect override. So before, if we go to our server CPP, 
Uh, when we have a new connection, we're printing out that the new connection is accepted, and that's fine. So back inside of our CPP, I'll put that. But there's one more thing that we still need to remove from our original server class. So let's go to the server class and go to where a new connection is accepted. And specifically, we were making this welcome message packet and we were appending it to that connection. So let's remove this right here. And let's go back to our onConnect. And what we'll do is we'll accept the connection, we'll create the welcome message packet, and then for our new connection, we will append that to their outgoing packet manager. Looks like I also have to include IOStream here. For our process packet override, I'm just going to paste in that same logic that we had before for processing the chat message packet type in the integer array. When a connection is lost, we are of course going to print out uh, the reason and put connection lost. There's some cool things that we can do now that uh, weren't as clean before, such as let's say that when the connection is lost, we want to send out a message to all of the existing connections and say that one of the users disconnected. What we can do is we can create a new packet. We'll call this a connection loss packet. And this is going to say a user disconnected. And this is just a chat message for the packet type. And then we'll go through all of the connections and we'll check as long as the connection does not match the connection that was just lost. So if that does match, we'll continue and go to the next iteration. But as long as that does not match, then we are going to append this packet to that connection's outgoing packet manager. So all the people that are still connected will get a message saying that a user disconnected. Similarly, what we can do is on connection, we can create a new user message packet to say that a new user connected. And we can send this out to all of the connections other than the user who just connected. Now let's modify our source CPP and test this out. So instead of including server, we will include my server header. And it's already using that namespace, so we don't really need that line there. Uh, instead of using server, we will use my server. And that should be all the changes we need to make. So let's go ahead and run the server. It failed to compile. Oh, okay. Earlier when I did a paste, it looks like I accidentally pasted closed connection even though close connection was already there. So let's try this again. I'm going to run the server and we're going to run two clients. So let's run one client and you see we get the chat message welcome and we got new connection accepted. And now let's run another client and you see we get the chat message welcome. If we look at the first client, we see new user connected. So that's kind of cool. And then let's say uh, that, you know, this client disconnects. The other client sees a user disconnected. And then, you know, all the connections are lost. And then we can close the server. In the next video, we are going to set up a client class. And it's going to work a lot like the server class. Since we've already built out a lot of that code for the server class, we can actually copy and paste a lot of this. And the only thing that we're really, really going to be removing is some small things like we obviously won't need the listening socket because the client won't be accepting connections. But a lot of the other code will remain the same, so there won't really be too many changes. That concludes this video, and thanks for watching.